Hey, it's Friday. I'm Matthew Laria, and you're watching the Faith for Life broadcast. Let's pray and release faith over today's broadcast, and then we're going to get right into the Word. Father, we do thank you again today, Lord, for your Word. And Lord, we thank you for all the good things you've been showing us this week on the broadcast about having a relationship with you. We ask you again today for revelation of your Word, for grace and help to receive it, to put it into practice and to see it work in our lives. And we do thank you for it in Jesus name. Amen. Now all this week on the broadcast, we've been doing a series of teachings entitled, you can have a relationship with the Lord. Now let's go back over to John chapter 17 and let's look at our foundation text there in verse three, Jesus said this, and this is eternal life that they might know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. And so again, from that verse, we can see that a big part of eternal life, a big part of having eternal life and being born again and being a Christian is to know the Lord. Now the word know in that verse means to be acquainted with. It means to intimately know. And so you're talking about relationship. And so every Christian, every believer, Every person who has eternal life should have a relationship with the Lord. Now, on the last two days broadcast, we gave you two major keys to having a relationship with the Lord. And the first one was you must spend time in the Word of God getting to know the Lord. And then the second one was that you must practice God's presence. Now, in today's broadcast, I want to start by going to James chapter 4 and looking there at verse 8, and I'm going to give you another key on today's broadcast to having a strong relationship with the Lord. In James chapter 4, verse 8, it says this, Draw nigh unto God, and He will draw nigh unto you. I want to read that to you again. Draw nigh unto God and he will draw nigh unto you. And so friend, if, if you want to have a relationship with the Lord, then you have to pursue it. See, a relationship with God is not going to come automatically just because you're saved or just because you're born again. A relationship with God won't be strong and won't happen automatically any more than a relationship with a person in your life will be strong and happen automatically. No, if you want to have a strong relationship with God, then you have to pursue it. If you want Him to draw near to you, then you have to draw near to Him. Now, God has invited us into having a strong relationship with Him. Right there in that verse, He said, draw nigh to me and I'll draw nigh to you. In Psalm 34, 8, it said, taste and see that the Lord is good. In Revelations 3.20, the Lord said, I stand at the door and knock. And so God has given us an invitation into relationship with Him. God's not trying to keep us from having a relationship with Him. He wants us to have a relationship with Him. He wants us to draw near to Him. But you and I need to understand that a relationship with God will not happen, and we will not have a strong one, if we don't pursue it. And so we must purpose and pursue in our relationship with the Lord. We must purpose and pursue. So what is it to purpose? To purpose means I want to have a relationship with God. That's purpose. And then, number, and then pursuit is I'm going after it. I want to have a relationship with God and I'm going after it. That's purpose and pursuit. And friend, you have to decide that for yourself. I want to have a relationship with my heavenly father. You have to make that decision. And then secondly, you have to decide I'm going to go after it. And here's the thing. Your relationship with the Lord will be in direct proportion to the, to the degree with which you pursue it. Let me read that to you again. Your relationship with the Lord will be in direct proportion to the degree with which you pursue it. In other words, you can have a relationship with God if you want to. 
You can be close to the Lord if you want to. You can know the Lord intimately if you want to. You can have a strong relationship with the Lord if you want to. God's not keeping you from it. The question is, will you pursue it? Will you draw nigh unto Him? Will you go after it? Because you can be close to the Lord if you want to. You can hear from God every day of your life if you want to. You can talk with God and have that kind of relationship with Him where you laugh with Him and where you spend time together. You can have that kind of relationship with the Lord if you want to. And the only person that will keep you from having a strong relationship with the Lord is you. Now let's go to Jeremiah 29 and let's look at verse 13 there. Jeremiah 29 and verse 13. Thank you, Lord. Verse 13 says this, The Lord said, You shall see me and find me when you search for me with all of your heart. Now the word find in there means you will meet or encounter me. When will we meet and encounter and find the Lord? When we search for him with all of our heart. And so you are not going to have a strong relationship with the Lord with a half-hearted pursuit. If you want to have a strong relationship with the Lord and encounter him and meet him, then you have to go after it with all of your heart. But here's the good news. You have God's word on it. That if you seek him with all of your heart, you will find him. And friend, what that tells me is if I want to have a relationship with the Lord, if I purpose to have one and pursue one, what that tells me is I will have one. If I seek him with all of my heart, God said, I will find him. And so in having a relationship with the Lord, if you want one, you must pursue it. Now, if you're going to pursue it, then it has to be a priority. See, relationship with the Lord has to be a priority to you. Otherwise, you won't pursue one. You have to value it. It has to be a priority to you before you're going to pursue it and before you're going to have it. Friend, you don't pursue things in your life that you don't value. You don't desire things in your life that you don't value. See, if you desire something, you pursue it. And if you're desiring it and pursuing it, it's because you value it. And so you have to ask yourself the question, how important is it to me that I have a strong relationship with the Lord? How, how greatly do I, how much do I want it? How important is it to me? You have to ask yourself that question because this will determine your pursuit. How important it is to you will determine the level to which you pursue it and the level to which you pursue a relationship with the Lord is going to determine the level to which you enjoy a relationship with the Lord. If you don't value a relationship with the Lord that much, then you won't pursue it. And if you don't pursue it, you won't enjoy a strong relationship with the Lord. And so in Philippians chapter 3, I read you this verse uh, earlier on in the broadcast this week. But I want to read this to you again in Philippians chapter 3 verse 10. And, and listen to this verse out of the Amplified Bible. And see if you can determine how important a relationship with the Lord is to the Apostle Paul. He said this in the Amplified Bible. He said, for my determined purpose is that I may know him. For my determined purpose is that I may know him. That I may progressively become more deeply and intimately acquainted with him, perceiving and recognizing and understanding the wonders of his person more strongly and more clearly. You can see from that verse that the Apostle Paul valued a relationship with the Lord very much. He said, it's my determined purpose. And so he purposed to know the Lord and he pursued it and he did that because it was important to him. Well, it's interesting that in 2 Timothy, the Apostle Paul wrote this. And again, this is in the Amplified Bible. He said, I know and am personally acquainted with 
the one in whom I have believed. And so what is he saying? He's saying, I know intimately, I know personally the one in whom I have believed. He's revealing to us that I have a strong personal relationship with my Father, with my Heavenly Father. Now, those two verses are connected. The reason he knew the one in whom he believed is because it was his determined purpose to know the one in whom he believed. You see, he valued a relationship with God. It was a high priority to him. And therefore, he pursued it. And that is why he was able to say, I know the one in whom I have believed. And friend, the same is true for you. If you value having a relationship with the Lord to the point that you pursue it with all your heart, then you will have a strong relationship with the God that you serve. In Philippians chapter 3, going back a few verses, in verse 7, the Apostle Paul wrote this, What things were a gain to me, those things I counted for loss for Christ. Yea, doubtless, I count all things but a loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and count them but dung, that I may win Christ. And then in verse 10 it says, and that I may know him. You see, it was the Apostles Paul, the Apostle Paul's purpose, priority, and aim to have a strong relationship with the Lord. And in those verses, we see that he was willing to sacrifice anything to have a relationship with the Lord. He was willing to give anything up if it meant he could have a stronger relationship with the Lord. And so, friend, if you're going to have a relationship with the Lord, it has to become a priority to you. You have to value it. And if you do, then you will pursue it and if you pursue it, then you will have one. And so nothing in our lives is more valuable to us than our relationship with God. And therefore, we should pursue it with all of our heart. Friends, some of the most enjoyable times that I've had in my life has been when it's just been me and the Lord. Maybe I was studying for a message. Maybe I was, there's been times when I've been out cutting grass and the Lord will just say something to me and reveal some things to me. And this is so valuable. This is so precious to know the Lord and to walk in close fellowship with Him and in intimate fellowship with Him. It's valuable to your life. It will help your life. It will bring, bring richness and joy to your life like no other. I mean, in Psalm 16, verse 11, it said that in God's presence is fullness of joy. And so there are so many good things that will come out of your relationship with the Lord. And therefore, it should be something that is very valuable to us, and we should pursue it with all of our hearts. And here's the good news. We already have God's word on it. That if we seek him with all of our heart, we will find him. <laughs> if we draw nigh unto him, he will draw nigh unto us. And so if you start to pursue a relationship with the Lord, you're not going to come up short. You're not going to pursue a relationship with the Lord and not have one. You have God's word on it. If you start to pursue a relationship with him, you will be successful in your pursuit and you will know him intimately. You will walk with him. You will fellowship with him. You will laugh with him and it will bring joy to your life that is unspeakable and full of glory. Praise the Lord. Now, as we're closing today's broadcast, friend, I want to remind you of these three things. Number one, to have a relationship with the Lord you have to pursue it. Number two, relationship with the Lord has to be a priority in your life. You have to value it before you, you, before you will pursue it. Excuse me. You have to value it before you will pursue it. And you have to pursue it before you will have a relationship with the Lord. And then number three, nothing in our lives is more valuable than a relationship with God and so we should pursue it with all of our hearts. Let's pray. Father, 
Lord, we desire greatly a stronger relationship with you than we have right now. Lord, our heart's cry is that we want to know you and we want to know you more intimately. We want to walk with you. We want to talk with you. We want to fellowship with you. We want to laugh with you. We want our relationship with you to be a living reality in our lives. And so today, Lord, we make it a priority and we decide to pursue it with all of our hearts. And Lord, I thank you that when we do pursue a relationship with you, when we draw nigh to you, you will draw nigh to us. When we seek you with all of our hearts, we will meet you, we will encounter you. And Father, I do thank you for it in Jesus' name, amen. Friend, thank you so much for watching the Faith for Life broadcast this week. And hey, I want you to know that I'm believing God with you. That as you practice the things that we've learned on the broadcast this week, that the Spirit of God has showed us this week, I'm believing with you that your relationship with the Lord is going to grow to a place that it's never been before. I'm believing that you're going to hear from the Lord like you've never heard from Him before. And I'm believing that you're going to laugh with the Lord and have fun with Him like you've never had it before. Praise the Lord. I, I know this is going to bring richness and joy to your life in Jesus' name. Now, hey, don't forget to come back Monday for the next edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. We'll see you then.